If you know me, then you definitely know that I like drawing very, very much. And I produced a lot of drawings in these years. And today I'm gonna pick some of my drawings and print them on t-shirts and then sell them and use the money to donate it to the people who need it. So let's get started. But first I'm gonna tell you that these are all my original works. So yeah, I'm not copying them from anybody and also draw them all myself. So let's get started. So these are some of my favorite drawings and let's start with the Greek one. So this drawing is all about the Greek gods. You got Zeus over here, and you also got Poseidon and Hades over here. At the other page, I just wrote the Olympic gods in huge letters, and then draw Mount Olympus behind the letters. And then you got Hera here, and then you got Hermes here, and <laughs> a great dragon over there. Move on to another drawing. Well, this drawing you can see there's an airplane and a huge mountain over here and yeah, a house. As you can see, if you're to look closely, you'll see some flowers and also a boat nearby it. Although I didn't actually draw any people in the boat since any time I wasn't really good at drawing animals and humans. Over here, I finally got better with drawing some animals and actually draw some little bunnies over here. And I draw it at New Year. But this is my first interior drawing ever. You see, I got a cute vase over here and also a table with some food. Along with three bunnies. And yeah, look at that clock. It is looking weird. <laughs> if you look closely, you'll see some wetting photos over here and also a photo where they buy the home. So we can't leave out and we also can't leave out this drawing too. <laughs> Actually, if you look closely, you will see the city's name, which is very plain indeed. But Really, it's an, I think it's an amazing drawing. You got all sorts of details. So you can even see the king over here. See the big letters. And you can also see and see trying to steal. Uh, maybe, maybe actually, maybe he is a spy trying to spy on the king. But this guy, you really don't want to be an enemy of his. Actually, I draw this in Guangzhou where I go to my. It's a brother's home and yeah, I have a blast there. Moving on to this drawing, guys, look, I draw this a long time ago. And it dates is like 2000, uh, 2021. Actually, surprisingly, my drawing skills back then is not bad. See, there's a beach and I mess up my drawing of the road over here and I also got some cars but still no humans on the streets since I draw it in 2021 and in the time I don't even know how to draw animals. So this is a drawing of an mountain over here and got a huge tree over there and you also got a sunrise over here and over here is a humongous drawing. I draw it in 2021 and I like it very much. You see over here, this drawing is kind of huge. And you can see my name written on it. But anyways, you got a huge snowy mountain and also a lake over here and along with some huge mud puddle. Oh, I wonder why I draw that one. So looking over here, I draw it in 2023 and it's a pretty large drawing indeed and I draw a lot of buildings and a huge castle over here along with a statue of a man. <laughs> if you were to look closely, you will realize that the head of this man is actually a house. Yeah, that looks weird. So anyways, we got some huge mountains over there which has high cliffs. Hey, why? I wonder why this house and this house is so close to the cliff. Something might just fall off and say, ah, I'm gonna fall into the water. You might be wondering if you're to fall from the top of this cliff to the water, you will survive because of the damage done. It's not great because of the water, but really, <laughs> I'm supposed this is gonna stretch over hundreds of meters so when you are from that high 
We also got some two balloons, which I totally messed up, since you can see here. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I draw some blue on the balloon, which is probably not what I was intended to do. But yeah. 